federal government shutdown likely to continue now into the new year. No more votes are scheduled for this week, and today marks the seventh day of the shutdown. President Trump tweeting today, quote, we will be forced to close the southern border entirely if the obstructionist Democrats do not give us the money to finish the wall and also change the ridiculous immigration laws that our country is saddled with. Yeah, the acting White House Chief of Staff says negotiations are at a standstill. Democrats are set to take over the House on January 3rd, and party leaders say they've offered options to reopen the government but not fund the way which they call immoral, uh, or so the wall, I should say, they call immoral, ineffective, and expensive. Now, all that leaving big questions about the future programs, which rely on certain streams of federal funding, caught up in this conflict. WATE 6 on your side reporter Blake Stevens is following the local impact of the shutdown from our newsroom. Blake, what have you learned? Yeah, Gabby, for families counting on WIC or food stamps to get by, you're okay right now. USDA providing funds for both of those programs. Food stamps are directly handled by the federal government and there's enough money during the shutdown through January. The WIC money is allocated to Tennessee. The state saying they also have enough to make it through January. Hello, this is the Knoxville office of the USDA's Wildlife Services. Due to the partial government shutdown, this office will be closed until further notice. Although 95% of USDA workers off the clock due to the partial government shutdown, Sarah Griswold saying the Knox County Health Department's WIC services are still operating normally. So from the moment mama knows she's pregnant, through the birth of her child on up to the child's fifth birthday, we provide healthy foods such as milk, cheese, eggs, beans, no peanut butter, cereal, juices. The program funding by USDA given to the state of Tennessee. Tennessee having enough to last through January. The research shows that your pregnancies are more healthy, your deliveries are more on time with healthier babies, outcomes for infants in um, their first year of life are all better when you have all the appropriate nutrition in your diet, including plenty of iron, vitamin C, all the foods that we focus on providing in the WIC program. The USDA also in charge of SNAP or food stamp funding. The department also saying there's enough money in the bank for that program through January. Susan Long, director for the CAC Center on Aging, saying she doesn't want anyone to worry. We're very hopeful um, that this is going to be resolved soon because nothing is worse than to think about um, people who are extremely food insecure not having anything the next day. But we really are not working on that idea that that will happen. We're just, uh, we're working on the idea that this is going to be resolved. The USDA also pays for the school breakfast and lunch programs, the child and adult care feeding program, and summer food service. It's funded through February. Obviously, guys, a lot of people hoping Congress and the president strike a deal soon. That is for sure. Thank you so much, Blake. Yes, and the Great Smoky Mountains National Park is still accessible despite the shutdown. Yeah, you know, the Great Smoky Mountains Association is helping with visitor center staffing. We're talking restroom cleaning, trash hauling, but that help is scheduled to run out on New Year's Day.